everyone and welcome to the Stock Swoosh and I am here to do a market review of the QQQs today. Market held very strong, market got down, failed to go lower, made a nice bottoming tail, retraced 80% of the bar from the prior day. So in the morning when I saw the gap down, I said the market has an air of bearishness to it because it failed in the daily buy set of yesterday, closed red, and then gapped down this morning. However, I said, you know, be aware of the fact not to believe it. Why? Because the market continues to go higher. I keep calling it higher. We do keep making new highs. Then we don't seem to go anywhere with it, which is kind of hilarious because we will. I actually think tomorrow's going to be the day. So this could be it. We're gapping up slightly here after hours tonight. I don't know where we're going to be tomorrow morning when the pre-market market sets up here to see where the gap is in the morning. But my inkling says that we gap up tomorrow morning and that we rally tomorrow and make new highs. So that's how I'm seeing this. That's how I'm calling it. Know that the next area I think that we follow through here over the high, I think is going to have a sizable bullish green day and should have the lift off that actually I thought we'd have like any day in the last month, but we just kept making new highs and then kind of taking a little nap and then making new highs and then coming in a little teeny weeny bit. But the market's bullish. I've been calling it bullish all year. And for people that have been wanting to short this market, they're, they're losing money actually because there's been no way to make money shorting this market. It's not going anywhere. It's not coming in. Every time it has a chance to come in, it comes into the smallest, most minimalistic level that it could find in its life. And actually, this did hold to the number that I gave this morning, I think. 89.48. Let me just see where I wrote down this morning. Oh, my gosh. I did write down 89.48. I said 89.67, 89.48. Oh my gosh, we did hold that number. Jeez, I can't make this stuff up at the try. Look at that. So the first, the smallest number would have been 89.67, and then I said 89.48, and that's where we held. Wow, so that's real, because I wrote it down before we held it as one of the numbers of support. <clears throat> So, and we also almost completely retraced the bar here from, uh, from Tuesday. So, longs are in play here in the market. Follow through the strong stocks. Follow the strong stocks. Stay in the long positions. The, the power trend is up. The institutions are buying the market. They're giving a lift. And there will be a big day in here soon. I'm calling it for tomorrow. So, there it is. Call us for tomorrow. Market could have even come in deeper here into the afternoon, still carried through higher and a buy set up, but didn't really do it. Held, held, actually ran up here into 11.15. The market held all day. So the market held all day. Held all day here in the afternoon and based from 11.15 till the close. And as working up for five hours the energy to make the lift tomorrow. Tomorrow, I see it happening here. The call for the market tomorrow is to have a large green day and to gap up. And depending on the size of the gap up, I just don't know how big of a green day it's going to be. So beautiful bullish market doing everything it's supposed to do and more. And for people that have been trying to short this, they're getting hurt. Okay. The idea is to trade with the trend. The trend is up. And therefore, that's the direction to play it. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you have any questions or would like more information about the Golden Gap course or how to read charts or analyze price. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic trading day tomorrow.